This is going to be a general overview for CodeSys version 3.5. I'm using 15. Once you've loaded CodeSys up and you've gotten to the start page, we're going to start a new project. And in your basic operations, you can start a new project. You can also use the file new project. We're going to just create a standard project. We'll give it a name. Make sure you find out where you want to save it and look at the right location. I'm going to place this one on my desktop because it's just a tutorial video. To set up your standard project, our target device is going to be the Control Win V3. So we'll be having a simulation device. So make sure you just choose the Control Win V3. PLC program, what are we programming? What language? We're going to choose ladder logic. We have a couple more options here like function block and structured text, but just stick to ladder logic diagram and hit OK. This should pull up a device tree on our left, a toolbox on our right, and then our program will sit in the middle. In order to access that program, let's go down our device tree. Here's our target, and we can find our PLC PRG right here. Double click that. You'll get a list of your variables and then your program underneath. To the right, our toolbox will give us all of our operations. So to get started, let's hit the plus sign next to ladder elements. Here we can see we have coils, contacts, negated contacts, reset coils, timers, counters, move jumps, all kinds of different ladder logic uh, tools. Let's start by just selecting a normal contact, click and drag it. Where it says start here, it should turn green. Click and drop your piece in. There's a couple ways to create variables. We can add them in the top and then use them later. To get started, let's click on the three question marks and then the ellipses to the right. Here we can see there are no variables defined here. We don't have any glo global variables, user defined variables. So we're gonna hit cancel and we're going to type in, and I'm going to call this button 1, and press enter. Now it's going to ask me to define my variable. What type of variable? A button is an on and off function, so that's going to be true, false, so we'll use Boolean. Later on we'll go over the variables, but for now, choose Boolean. We'll hit OK, and now we can see that a Boolean variable was added to our list. We need to add a coil to turn this on. So we're going to select the coil and drag it to the end of our ladder rung. If we click our three question marks, we can type in our output. Again, it'll ask us for a variable. I'm going to choose a Boolean and I'll call it a light for now. We'll hit OK. We've just created our first program. By pushing this contact, I will turn this coil on and off or energize this coil. To test our program, we need to do a few things. When we go to the online menu, we need to click simulation first. And we can see in the bottom right corner that simulation is turned red. Now we can log into our device. This is going to find the uh, control win v3. We'll hit yes. Now I can see my ladder rung, and I also have a list of my relationships and expressions up here. So right now on the bottom, we're stopped and we're still in simulation mode. Our program is loaded. We haven't done anything, so they match. So before we start, we can load values. So we can double click and put in a prepared value. We can do that on both sides. So let's turn the button true as a prepared value. That means when I run, it's going to go and move to that value. So I'm going to go to debug and start. Now my target is in run mode. And I can step through my program or I can write values. Now that I wrote my prepared value into button one, my light 
then was turned on and now you can see my rung is good I can click this as false and so my prepared value is false I can go to debug and say write values and both are false I know that my ladder logic is working okay that's a quick introduction to simulating and adding in a rung of ladder logic don't forget to save your project if you need to you can log out of your device and uncheck simulation. Now you can go back and add more to your program and continue to develop your ladder logic. You can save and then go back into your simulation after that.